Hi everybody, here I am with another craft for this week and today we are going to make dandelion pictures because I noticed all the dandelions are out and the bees are very happy and excited but when the dandelions um, turn to seed they have those cool little poof balls that we all like to um, blow when we blow the seeds all around so that the more dandelions can grow. So today we're going to make um, white uh, dandelion seed flowers. Um, you're going to need some white paint. Um, I'm using white acrylic paint. You need um, a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll or you could even create your own roll by rolling paper. And taping it so we need that to make our dandelions um, and you need some colored paper so um, we don't have a lot of colored paper at home right now so I went looking through my son's school supplies and I found some old dividers that are a little beat up in that they're bent and stuff but they're great colors so there was blue and pink and green and while the paper is not perfect um, I do like to reuse and recycle so I'm gonna use this green one so if you can't find colored paper, maybe go look at some of your old school supplies. Um, I even found a duotang cover um, that wasn't used. So I might use that for another project if I want some colored paper. So I've got my colored paper. I um, also need a pair of scissors and a cotton ball if you have one. Um, a paintbrush with kind of a finer brush on the end and then we need something with a bigger end for um, making circles so I grabbed, grabbed another paintbrush for that and um, I have a little lid I'm not sure what this is from but we're gonna use that to do a stamp print and this is just a old um, the back cardboard of some lithium batteries and it's good cardboard and it'll it's a good place to put your paint. So I'm gonna start there, squeeze some paint onto that. I'm gonna use it to dab my um, toilet paper roll. Now I'm gonna make two different uh, size dandelions. So I'm cutting this in half and you don't have to make two if you don't want to um, but it's just a way to get some different shapes and sizes onto the piece of paper so from there once you have your dandelion um, templates that's what this is going to be is you're going to cut up so you're not going to cut all the way to the end but you're going to cut up some little fringy uh, doodads for lack of a better word and you're going to cut them all about the same length. On this one, they might be different widths. Perfection's not necessary. I'm going to go all the way around. And you might need a parent to help or your brother or sister. You can do it together. So now you see there's some ends and I'm just going to bend them over because this part is what's going to be put into the paint. So I'm going to do with my other roll and I'm going to not going to cut quite as much. I'm going to make smaller. So you notice I'm stopping right around here for this one. I'm not sure what kind of dandelion it will make, but it's nice to have some different shapes and sizes. So you're just cutting all the way around until you reach wherever you started. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. So I got a little bit longer. I <laughs> started out shorter and then went longer. And it doesn't really matter. Um, just bend them as long as you want them. So if you want them to be that long, that's fine. I'm going to bend it so these aren't quite as long as the other one. So you can see there's a little bit of difference between the length 
of, and this is going to be the flower. So this flower um, petals are gonna be a little shorter and this flower petals are gonna be a little bit longer. So from there, what you're going to do is you're going to take these parts of the petal and we're just gonna tap them into some paint. Loading, this is like loading my paintbrush, but I'm loading my cardboard roll. And from there, I'm gonna place. It's a very forgiving shape because dandelions, once they've gone to seed, are all kind of round and there's lots of different um, textures and there's lots of different um, ins and outs. They're definitely round like this one. So again, I'm gonna go over here and my paint is starting to run out which is okay, so I'm gonna tap, tap a bit more paint in there. And you can see, I'm gonna bring some of it into the inside to fill in that dandelion. Now here I'm gonna use my longer dandelion. We'll see how this one looks. A little bit longer to load up because They've got longer petals. And from there, I'm gonna go over here. And this one's not quite as strong, so I have to be a little bit careful. But you can tell it does look a little bit different. Tap, tap, tap. So I'm gonna do one more. And it's okay if they touch each other because this is like a bouquet of dandelions. They look like dandelions already. Now from there, I'm going to just go around the outside a little bit. So my goal is to get, you know how dandelions are blowing away, just to get a bit of that movement around the outside of the main dandelion. So they're starting to take shape over there. That's cool. So now I'm gonna take my um, circular center. Now I'm not sure how, and all I want is a little circle. There we go. That thing too heavy. The center of most dandelions you can see. So they're really starting to take shape. Awesome. From there, I'm actually gonna take one of these again and just, you don't want the circle to be a perfect circle, you want it to be interrupted by the dandelion seeds. It's coming along. So from there, I'm gonna take my little paintbrush and I'm going to draw some stems coming from the dandelion. And sometimes the stems come from behind and you can't really see them until they, so this one is coming from up there. And just very light. stems. Then I'm going to take a little dot, put it in the middle, just to give you some, and then I'm going to tap it. Now I don't mind getting dirty when I paint. I know some kids love being clean, but you know, art is something where it's okay to get stuff on your hands and it's okay to get your hands in there to, to create some movement. So I'm trying to make it look like there's a circle in there, but it's not this big, huge circle. It's just kind of blended in with all the other parts of the dandelion. From there, I'm gonna take a cotton ball and I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit. All right, and even if it falls apart, I'm not quite, it's just gonna be a soft, I want it to look soft. And I'm gonna take a little bit of paint 
and tap around the outsides because the dandelions are often getting blown away with the wind. And so I'm just softening it up a little bit. So it looks like the wind has caught your dandelions. Even in there a little bit. Oop, a bit too much there. That's okay. I'll just wipe it on my hand. There. So, I mean, from there, really, there's not much more you need to do. I mean, um, if you wanted to create a bit of some dimension in the circles, there's often, you can see kind of like a little bit of spokes of a wheel when you look right into the inside of a dandelion that's gone into seed. But it's certainly not necessary. So there's my dandelions. Pretty easy to do and really pretty once it dries. I'll show you the one I did when I was practicing. So here's one I did on blue paper. And I even did some that are just partially coming off. Um, that you can only catch a part of it. And that's really easy to do, actually. So dandelions, they don't all fit on my picture, so I'm just going to put a bit of paint on part of the petals, and then I'm going to come to an edge of the paper. So you can see I'm catching the edge of the dandelion, and I'm getting my <laughs> lovely red tablecloth, but that's okay. And then I'll get some of my cotton. And there you go. So some of the dandelions that are going off the paper. So it's similar to this one. And then I did another one. Where did it go? There it is. Um, for those of you who don't have colored paper, you can do the opposite. If you just have white paper, I made turquoise dandelions using all the same methods, um, but the color was, the dandelions were the color versus the paper being the color. So a lot of pretty dandelion seed, seeds going around the world today, helping those bees live. Um, I thought it was pretty and, and pretty easy to do. So. Um, uh, if you want to make some dandelions, I look forward to seeing some of them. Thanks for sharing, everybody, and I'll see you later, alligators.